Okay, so down here in San Diego Harbor, going fishing today. It's, there is the fleet. We're going out on the premier, it's right over there. We're gonna have a great trip. Right, obviously this is a long range boat because there's a Wahoo lay in there. What, what boat were you guys on? The XL. The XL, how many days out? 16. 16 day trip. All right. That is. What do you want, Ken? That is quite a trip. There's still some nice fish. It's a long drive, 16 days. Really nice yellow fin there. Check out those big sickles coming. All right, as you can see, you can still get to some uh, tunas. The thing about the 16 day trips, you get down there way south down in Mexico and you get some uh, big fish and uh, I've not ever done a long trip like that. I think I probably am more the type that I would fly down to Mexico and take a couple of day boat out of, out of Mexico rather than 16 days on a boat. This must be where all the fish are. Look at all the cormorants. They're the best fishermen in the ocean. Every trip we stop right here at the bait barge. Here comes the guy that runs the bait barge. That looks like one of those old uh, plastic Triumph boats. Don't know that it is. Sure looks it. Okay, people, today we're going to be fishing these tube crackers. They're a custom made bait, almost like the ones that we used last time, they were called hookups. So there I've got a, they call that one a calico color. They called this a lemon something color. So these are the baits that I'm gonna be fishing today. And then I also brought a, um, this is a NLBN, no live bait needed, with a two ounce head and about an eight, nine ounce tail, I mean nine inch tail on a 30 pound avit. So this is a two speed, that's a single speed. He's already hooked up. What you got there, Chris? Uh, I don't know. It's, I don't think it's a fish. You think it's the bottom? Yeah, it's something. I'm bringing it up. You got the plug? You gonna gonna drain this place? <laughs> we tried it. Feels like a rock. It's fighting like a rock. It is coming though. What'd you have on for bait? In a plastic. Okay. One of those hookup type baits or some other swim bait? Yeah, a little frog. Okay. Somebody's old fishing line. Looks like there's a good leader down there coming up. Man. First catch of the day. <laughs> nice job. We're gonna have scallops for lunch. Still something out. Oh, just just broke loose. All right. Well, I was hoping it was a big fish. Thought maybe you had one of those cow nose rays or something. Yeah. There we got Captain Colin down there scooping. We got Nick running the stuff to the bait pan, bait tank here. These 
these have a little more size to them than the last ones we had. So this is the bait. It's got a lead head inside. Super, super sharp point. It's a glide bait. This one does not have a split tail. It's silicone based though. And I don't believe it has any scent on it. it smells like plastic when I smell it. So these two were $14.95, so about eight, eight bucks a piece with tax. got the lemon one up there that I'm fishing and then I got the no live bait needed that's what I'm gonna be fishing today hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button follow me cousin Jim not breaking this one off Dan was gonna start sending chuck down to the bottom so we'll get up see if we get these things fired up also, if you guys brought your own gear, the hookup baits were working extremely well. Oh, nice there we bass go. already. Beautiful. Nice bass, Chris. Good job, man. Down there, guys. Nice chunk of squid. Put it on there a couple All times. All right, good job, right man. On the bottom. Not good. Okay, I think I got him this time. Oh, he's pulling some, pulling some drag. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. There's a little bass. How big they gotta be? Uh, 14. There we go. Good job, man. Nice looking bass. Oh. oh, this guy's pissing everywhere. Yep. Me here. Yeah, hopefully we, we keep our current. Can you help with that critter, sir? That's a nice one. I got it. Nice job, Colin. You put us right on the fish right to start. And there we go. Another one hooked up. me in the rocks nice you're, fish you were four? yeah okay. okay i'll take it there i'm okay, going down sure. that way. nice fish sir yeah. nice fish good start my dad was both happy. oh got it out good got another one hooked up up front bass are on fire right now a sheep's head there we go just got bit next to me there pretty nice little bite to start this morning off oh yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> a little perch I don't know what that one's even called. I might be on you, Bill. Yeah. I'll just wait for you. No big deal. Just bring yours in. Oh. 
Good thing we got him in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Bill, when, when will the tuna come in? When when do you think we'll get a shot of them? Uh, I'm sure as soon as some boats get out, they'll find them. I don't really they'll get to use it in. anymore, so I gotta gotta make do, keep it fresh. What's that one, Colin? Uh, brown rockfish. They're uh, out of season until April, so we got to let them go. Sure is pretty, though. Yes, very tasty. Good looking fish. Sorry, you got to let him go. Chris is on again. Oh, there we go. Wouldn't you love that guy right now on a sandwich right now? Oh, he beats Not until April. Not till April. <laughs> April 1st, we get to have a sandwich. That's a good looking one. Yep. Here we go. Must be huge. Damn. Either that or an old reel. There you go. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, it's a good looking fish. You don't want it? You can keep that one. No, it's brown. We can't keep the brown ones. Oh, it is? Oh, it is? Isn't that a tree fish? Is that a brown? Is that a brown one? Can he keep this one? No, that's a tree fish. Tree fish. Okay, a rock fit a tree fish is a rock fish yes didn't know that learned something new could end up being the thumbnail you just never know looks good though thanks Chris. Boy, he's like you had him that was cool look good man. thanks oh, here we go we were waiting the whole stop for that guy Oh yeah, down there eating. What is that? Crab? <laughs> it looks like a crab claw. I don't think it's a lobster. Number 12! Get up, get up. Oh, I forgot a sea chicken! <laughs> All right. Back straight into them. There we go. He looks good. There you go, thug, bro. You got the thug! Hey, stop, Jeffers. You're not doing a death bug. You got his cousin. Oh, he took your weight. There we go, nice little calico. Good job, man. Bill's got one coming. Sand bass. Finally. What have we got? Who? A keeper? Thank you, sir. Number one. That's him. They're a beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. And they hurt taste like, good. They hurt like hell, though. Yeah. Bill's hooked up again. He's got a little sculpin. 
see alligators when you're back there in Florida? Yeah, crocodiles. Oh when I, I just, I guess, man, alligators, mountain lions, you know, there's just certain things I don't like to be around. Yeah, the alligators, you usually can see them a long ways away, usually. Yeah, right. And, but in the canals by my house, we have crocodiles. Oh, really? Yeah. Saltwater crocs. Like little, like, came in? Little came in? No, or like, like 12, 12 footers. Oh, nasty. Big ones. They say nobody's ever been bit by a croc in the Keys, and I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. There's a there's a saltwater lake that's there we go. All right, got another guy coming up. This one hit like a train, so we don't know what we got, but we got Captain Colin here going to make sure that it's legal. Yeah. That one will make it. That one won't make it for the uh, jackpot, but it'll make it to the bag. It'll make it to the ceviche pot. Number one, sir. Number one, excellent. Thanks. There we go. Oh, he got me into the rocks. And I'm out of the rocks, but I don't have my fish anymore. No, how'd I miss that? Sharks. Sharks. Right. Whales. Something. Nice. <laughs> nice, Chris. Thanks. Mermaids. We go. Finally got a real one. Seal just hit him on the way up. Nice little calico. A monster Terrible. that's the biggest one I've seen today <laughs> but a seal's not gonna come eat him is it come back when you're grown I don't know how you can throw that so far underhanded. I just can't get it to go like that. Practice. A lot of backlashes. Anybody, anybody says they don't get backlashes, I'm not lie. Hi. You got him, turn him in. GoPro off rather than on. But it's okay now I got him he's coming unless he just came off I don't think so he just got really light though <coughs> he's gonna be close huh Fishing until there's no more fish in the sea.
You cut some nice bass today, Chris. Yeah, I did. There we go. That's too close for the thumbnail. Yeah, right about there. That looks yeah. good, man. Thank you. Thanks. What's your channel? Cousin Jim. Cousin Jim? Yeah. Okay. I don't think those are the biggest, but they'll work. You're not going to win the jackpot, but you'll have a taco or two. Four tacos here. Four tacos here. <laughs> it's going to be good. Nice handful of fish, buddy. Good Thank job. You. There we go. You guys just rocked it today. Good job. That, that's a good little pile of fillets. What number was that one? fishing on the boat what's your favorite fishing to do I am a more or less a uh, spotted bay bass okay sharks and bat rays so what kind of sharks do you usually catch I like to go for a seven gill maybe a soup fin fresher I like the seven gill they fight the hardest That is a nice looking filet. What was your name again? Daniel. Daniel, okay. I thought he called you Dino and oh. all kinds of stuff, but Daniel, okay. How often do you work this boat? Yeah, I'm going on my second year. Okay. I fished it a couple weeks ago and I think Chris and maybe Steve. Chris and Steven? Yeah, Steven, yeah. So you had that day off. Yeah. But, well, thanks for a great day. We caught a pile of fish. You did a good job. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. That's what we're here for. Yeah. And if you like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button.